I filled the bowl in the dining room with fresh fruit. Then I went to my bedroom and took up my collection of marbles, my stack of picture cards, and placed them next to my sister's row of dolls. By now, you would have noticed how the fruits, marbles, picture cards, and the dolls were all either in a group, collection, a stack, or a row. When we place things that are alike in some way together, we call this group of things a set. Can you think of other collections or groups of objects or things? A set, therefore, is a collection of things that are similar in some way or have at least one common characteristic. We can use symbols or mathematical notation to represent what we are speaking about. A set can be represented by curly brackets. A set like this is called an empty set. That is, if you have curly brackets and nothing inside, it is called an empty set. We can also use the following symbol, the one that I have here written on my board, to represent an empty set. However, never use them together like this it is wrong we use capital letters to name set so a equals and you have curly brackets really means that the set a is an empty set now if we say b equals to a b c and d this means the set b has four members a, B, C, and D in it. Members are always referred to by common letters. That is, we use common letters, we use numbers or symbols to represent members. Note we can use commas to separate the members. And I do hope that you have been following because it is very important to get these right before we move on. Now, Let's look at union of sets. Let's look at two sets, and we'll call them set C and set S. The set C has three cell phones and can be written as C equals open curly brackets, Motorola, Nokia, Samsung, close brackets. Now, the set S has two PDAs in it. So we can write S equals to curly brackets, Blackberry, and iPhone. Now, we can unite these sets. We can bring these sets together. We can join them and make them into one. It is easy to do since the set C and the set S are two sets containing phones. So we have a common characteristic. That common characteristic is the phone. The set T now, when we have joined or unite the two sets together, the set T has as its members Motorola, Nokia, Samsung, Blackberry, and iPhone. Let's look at this symbol that we are putting up here on our board. And that means union. So we use that symbol, C union S would read C union S. Because that U represents union. C union S is the same thing as S union C. It doesn't matter which letter comes first. What we are saying here is that we are joining two sets together. So C union S equals to S union C equals to T equals to Motorola, Nokia, Samsung, Blackberry, and iPhone. Let's look at another example. Here we have two sets, and the members of the set H are A, B, C, D, and E. The set K 
and the members of KRE, FGH, and I. So if we write H union K equals, and we open our curly brackets, the members would be A, B, C, D, and E, E, F, G, H, and I. Note that E is in both sets. E is a member of H and a member of K, and therefore, we can only count E once. One E would be in our new set, which is the set, the union of H and K. Now, we've covered a lot so far. I'm going to give you a chance to tackle some problems, and I'm going to put the answers up on the board. So, while you solve these problems, I will put up the answer. Now, I hope you have enjoyed this lesson on sets, and you can let us know by giving us feedback at our website. Thank you.